We've all heard of dancing in the dark, but that brings to mind elegant people in romantic lighting, not stumbling around in pitch darkness. So what would you think of dining in the dark? Not dimly lit, mind you, but total darkness, so you can't see what you're eating. Such restaurants actually exist, and Willem Marx is here to tell us about the experience. Good morning, Willem. Good morning. Yes, there's fine dining and then there's dark dining. And nowadays at a few restaurants, you can enjoy both. Sushi, shrimp, snails. For many people, they don't look all that appetizing, even if they taste fantastic. We see food first. And so by the time the food arrives on your plate, you've already started to make judgments about it. Barb Stuckey is a professional food Absolutely. taster. She met me at New York's Chelsea Market to try some truly ugly looking seafood, oysters. Looking at this, it what looks, does it say to you? It's frightening. You know, I think it's, um, it looks like a lot of creepy crawly food that's alive. And it was alive just seconds ago. So do you think a lot of people are intimidated by it? Absolutely. Like this? The oysters smelled briny. Do you always want to sniff it? Felt slimy but tasted just fine. Pretty good. Well, when we Pretty say we taste something, in actuality, we're using all five of our senses to experience food. So unless you close your eyes or you eat in the dark, it's really hard to set to turn off the other senses. But one New York restaurant aims to do just that. <laughs> the venue's called Don Le Noir, French for in the dark, and has branches in Paris, Barcelona, and London. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I joined a group of food professionals for dinner there, in total darkness. But are they filming us? Yeah. Infrared cameras captured the meal, which was served by a blind waiter, Sam. Sam? Hey there, I've got these two em empty plates. Oh, you finished already? Oh, yeah. I'm right here. The darkness doesn't bother Sam, who serves using sound and touch. Where am I having a new glass of wine? Uh, right there. Right there. Oh, oh, what is it? Got it. Customers are left completely in the dark when it comes to what's on the menu, but it does allow diners to focus on the flavor. It's like a fried falafel thing. Even if they don't know what's on their plate. Oh, I don't like what I touch. Don Lenoir chef Vas Kovlar says he works hard to make his food tasty. We do try to play, like I said, as much as we can with flavors and textures. Especially since his diners must go without their dominant sense. That's fish. It's not fish. It's fish. You're insane. It's, it's fish. It's not fish. It's not fish. You take away sight, and all of a sudden, they're having to pull this party trick that they normally don't have to do. I actually, I found it very hard work eating in the dark. Why is that? Are my other senses having to compensate? When you take away the sense of sight, you do have to compensate somewhat, and it's just not something we're used to doing. But by far the hardest task was eating with a knife and fork. All I know is that my mother's going to be very unimpressed with my table manners. <laughs> we spent about an hour and a half in there, and the infrared video doesn't really let you see quite how pitch black that room was. Um, one woman was so claustrophobic that she had to leave almost as soon as we sat down. I think that might be me, actually. <laughs> <in there. laughs> you don't get points for presentation in a restaurant where you can't see, can't see the food no, either. But you can't. do for sort of things like texture. You yeah. want the food to feel unusual, and they play around with that. You have dishes that you think would be one thing and end up being something else because they're a little more soggy. Or... So did it heighten the taste for you, or were you so confused? No, that... you're, you're really focusing on taste more than you would normally. I think at a restaurant, often you've got distractions, you've got conversations going on and, and in this place you really can just focus on what is that in my mouth wow well that was fascinating <laughs> thank you for that glimpse or lack of a glimpse <laughs> into this glimpse, really yeah. fascinating uh, world Willem Marks thank you for being here this morning